Welcome back to Dungan. To to Dunk and Romp her. <laughs> but, Romp. But don't but don't though, you'll end up in prison. Or do, and end up in prison. It'll be worth it. You could at least and, try and figure out what, where we should check without my help. Well, I mean, right, um, I was check checking you. Y you out? Hmm. Uh, do you care? It's been a... Hello. <laughs> what? Bullshit! That's not even the scene of the crime, idiot. Do you remember the facts of the case? Because it's been a week for us. Badoodoo. Um, yes, I do remember so the facts of the case. Okay. Maybe this gun was used to... No, impossible. If that were true, Chihiro would be riddled with holes. Well, you that, could say... That was such a stupid theory that he uh, that even Makoto debunked it in the same time he came up with it. The fact that he came up with it at all, though. Camera. Um, right. The surveillance uh, camera is Chihiro being murdered by the man who was... Don't know where the fuck we're meant to go, then, because if he doesn't want to tell us... Uh, cause Naturally, I could have sworn... she was murdered with a boogie board. <laughs> Blah, 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 nothing to do with the case. Okay. Uh, uh, try inspecting the card readers? <clears throat> Good point. If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work without, with our, yeah, with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with that? What? Wait. If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. Yeah, it's part of the case, dick shit. <laughs> he said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands Did together. <laughs> there he is. You called for me? Like a magic trick. Has he been <laughs> domesticated? <laughs> That's I wish. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. you Do we? Something? Sure. What's up? Um, well, it's about this card reader. Yeah, the card readers have all been designed... God, this fucking voice. To I'm not doing good today. I've got a bit of a sore throat. To interface with, e with each of your handbook. E fuck! Do you want ah! me to take it over? I don't know why, like, I'm just not being able to read properly today. Or word properly. Finn, I'm going, I'm, I'm becoming dyslexic. <laughs> Do you want me to take him? <clears throat> nah, it's okay. I can handle him. <laughs> He's only small. I, I can handle him. <clears throat> you can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. If there were some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl... The ceiling-mounted Gatling gun, don't mind that, would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, right? Of course! Co correctly correct! So then... That means only girls can go- Fuck off. In other words. Hey, Makoto. I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow yes, me to tell- Yes, Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. <laughs> He's such a dick. Do you have thoughts? Are you, are you good? Yes, this is what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Since Jahira was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? No. Good lord, you're simple. No. But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. Your answer has been in front of you the entire time. What do you think? Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. What do you, Only what do you the think? act of loaning okay. a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> <sighs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Tagami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Knowing you, I wouldn't... I would bet... Fuck! I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. <laughs> You're treating me like a puny little appetite, puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, 
They're not people anymore. They're things. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying there's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So No, it means stealing. So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Biakuya and get your shit together, you little fucking cunt! Or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence! No more questions! Figure out the rest on your... Fuck! Figure out the rest your own damn self! Why am I missing everyone? I'm fucking... Do you want to collect yourself? No! I've been out of it for the last few days. Don't worry about it. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Firstly, hot. Secondly, this- I love this episode so far. They're just fucking railing on him. <laughs> Let's head to the main hall. There's a drawing board in there I can use to illustrate my simple points. Why is the Gatling gun behind the camera? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> the main hall? Never heard of it. That'll help you understand what's going on. Nice. Very nice. Oh, oh I'm getting snotty. Ew. We're both ill. I'm not ill, I'm just a bit disoriented. Okay. We came to the main hall? Who could have fucking guessed? <laughs> wow! So what are we looking for here? Ah. <laughs> I want you to scratch my back. He turned around and opened his mouth. I, I don't know, man. Uh, look over to the right. There it is. No, 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 no. The other side. But, 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 but. Notice that you are observing. Can, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm observing but in the way that isn't... Makoto would. It's called but... roleplay, Finn. But this isn't funny. Nor is Makoto. <laughs> Granted. That is... That is just a fucking PNG they slapped on it. I... There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? Perhaps... Mail? It's no! A, it's an e-handbook! It There's actually looks like them. three of them. No, wait! There's, There's three, three of them! them. <laughs> <laughs> so you finally found them. What the fuck is going- This feels like a drug trip. Maybe I'm like a bit tired. But this is like, Ooh, how could they get in? Maybe they loaned it. They can't! So they borrowed it. Uh? Let's go to the main hall. There are free handbooks! <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Did you know these were here, Biakuya? I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Then why are you acting so pretentious like we should have found them? It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then... Oh. So then these handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. It does, it's them, there you go. <laughs> Junko's had an update recently. LOL's still dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, totally uncool. But wait, if she... If she... That means, must mean she's not dead in order to be able to write this or something. Actually, I was just playing a prank on you. No, no! This means she's alive! <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. Get it on. You should pay cl Five seconds ago, he said this. <laughs> so, uh... I wish can... it... I really want it to play out all the events up until right now again. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, and now we're here. So you can, um... Just nick a dead student's handbook from here without any repercussions. Sweet. Hmm, hold on a second. What's wrong? That's strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. 
Uh, Leon's. <sighs> the other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? Oh, it would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and doven dozens of baseballs. No, 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 no! Pummeled with baseballs? The memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that was... Uh... You're right. Wrong. It, w it wouldn't be surprising if the handbook to break... Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! What? <laughs> Fucking... The what fuck's the problem? Do? No, seriously, what do you want? <laughs> just just say hey once, like fucking have a conversation with me, jeez! That handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental. A super big deal. There's no way it will break that easily. But it did. Oh. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't fucking break! It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap! Oh, but uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does? I can't hear you! But it's a secret, I wouldn't want you go breaking any more handbooks. Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? to say you know what i think i think his handbook isn't actually broken but you might ask how could that be the big getty star enabled me to cheat death how could this be <laughs> what's that from that is from xenoverse 2 there is a fight where you have to kill 20 meta coolers and they only have two lines of dialogue for when they die one I think is just a scream, but the other one is the big Getty star enabled me to cheat death. How could this be? Okay. And just you know, for some reason I got that basically twenty times when I did that mission. It's very quotable. Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? We did a flashback and covered everything again. <laughs> yeah. Monokuma said it's not broken. But it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. Fine. <sighs> Any girlfriend you have may not turn on. That doesn't mean she's broken. <laughs> dude, well... that's all the dude. That's all they're good for. You just throw them away when they can't turn on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they can still make you a sandwich. <laughs> that's why you get a new one and keep the old one in the dark about the new one. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't wait for this to fucking be brought up in five years' time. <laughs> anyway, well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? I thought to myself where he couldn't hear me and couldn't hit me if I said that to him. Either way, something about it still bothers me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, then. This should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Yes, I just said that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be exact, you, you not quite. Me? Huh? Not quite. Oh my god. What do you mean by that, Biakuya? To be exact, not quite. Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think, you truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed your hero? Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. <laughs> that murder... Blah, blah. There's nobody else it could be. Apart from, like, anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> a murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And with that, and what nickname did we we've had this, this just, fucking this is this just is a copy, copy paste. paste that is just copy pasted from Fuck the cafeteria you. scene. 
Still, could one of us really be a demented psychotic killer like that? You know, apart from Sayaka. <laughs> and I guess Leon. Apparently, yeah. um, Genocide Jack has had over a thousand victims. I looked up um, the most prolific serial killers, and apparently, the, apparently, the most prolific serial killer had somewhere in the range of three hundred plus victims. So, a thousand victims um, for one serial killer is um, pretty fucking substantial. Jack the Ripper allegedly had like over fifty, I think. Uh, you said that when I, when we last talked about Genocide Jack. Did I? Yeah. Why do you keep reminding me that I keep saying things? <laughs> so stop repeating yourself, repeating yourself. Fuck repetition, fuck repetition. I have to prove oh. that I... No, go on. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Just um, j j don't, don't, don't uh, hit the reaction. Just keep going, there we go. I want to know. And then, and then you have, and then you have to react what? to the word bait. What? Okay. Stop. 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 Don't worry. I got this. Okay. Stop. There we go. Yeah, I fucking know, Finn. <laughs> Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you, so this will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear now. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one who killed Chihiro. Evidence. I don't know what that is. Um, that I person spoke. Poop! Big Trouble, we need your help! Misha, Big Trouble, need your help! I don't have time to play. We're busy, leave us alone. I mean... But it's an emergency, an emergency! Is someone else dead? Come on, please, you gotta help me! Okay, no one's dead. No, no, Toko's having a crisis. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this is a serious emergency. Fuck, fuck my head. An emergency? What happened? Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, yeah, that's Toko. What should we do, Biakuya? Very strange. I'm over here now. <laughs> Since it's Toko, I must admit I'm intrigued. What should we do, Biakuya? Ah, oh, shit! You were there. <laughs> You were on my right side just a second ago. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat Don't... myself. I was about to repeat him, repeating himself in the text. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no and that'd be the end of it. Okay, okay, come on, hurry. Wait for us, Hina. I'm walking this way. <laughs> it looks like she headed to the dorms, to Toko's room most likely. You're right. <laughs> this is like a fucking Sonic fan fiction. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, where is it? Where Probably is doesn't even smell of her anymore. Uh, next, go go back to where Biku is standing. You checked every door in, in ne near him except Toko's. Oh. Okay. Toko. Is Toko inside some kind of emergency? Emergency. Emergency. Uh, Either talk to Hino or ring the doorbell. You guys are too slow! You gotta go fast! <laughs> I mean, you're not even athletes! I think you're just too fast! How do you even run with so... that much weight on your chest? <laughs> it's aerodynamic! So, what's this emergency? What she does is she bounces them so they propel her forwards on the downbars. <laughs> Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lie down. How many times can I say room in the same sentence? After a while, we there came wasn't back much to room in her room. After a while, we came back to check on her. You know, see how she was doing because we had fuck all else to do. But when we did, it's not like there's a murder to investigate or anything. How did we actually care about her. It was weird. <laughs> She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Yeah, like... Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> yeah. Stop fucking burping! No, I feel sick, Finn. I've got a stomachache. Well, please get this over with. Okay, where is she? Here we go. I... There. 
The door Ding swung dong. open slowly and silently. Swing open, it opened a crack. <laughs> and that's when we found her vibrator collection. <laughs> <laughs> She had stuffed four of them into two holes. All she's fucking do, all they've done is just alternated her X coordinate to go back and forth. There's not even a middle frame. No, there isn't. It's just all the way to the left or all the way to the right. Holy crap! An aura of negative. Is that what you want to call it? Holy shit! Holy crap! She's vibrating at Fuck Mark me, one. man! Fuck me in the fucking ass! This is freaking me out, man! She's gonna break the sound barrier. <laughs> Was really worried about you. It's you. Up in your room. He's already reading it. Leave me oh, was it? Uh. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? I won't I'll allow it. Shove the door open. I won't let Genocide Jack have control. What? And just like that, she slammed the door into my face. As hard as she could with a just a crack. <laughs> what was that? Maybe okay. All right, all right. Here's something interesting. What if Toko is genocide Jack and she has bipolarism? Bipolarism. Um. Maybe I don't think it was her that committed the murder, but maybe she she came in, put the body up, strung it up, and then wrote bloodlust on the wall. But you're saying it wasn't her. No. Well, who was it? I think it was one of the guys. Because if it wasn't one of the guys, why would they make such a big deal out of showing you that a guy could get in by using a female's e-handbook? Okay. They're, they're just too specific not to be a red herring. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're putting emphasis on this, meaning this must have something to do with it. She's been acting like that the whole time. When I rang a little while ago... She did the exact same yeah. fucking thing. Uh, she's not voice. She didn't voice act that, or whatever. Uh, well, whatever the fuck. It doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, it's not like she's the killer. <laughs> I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down the. I tried to bust down her door. I just kept bouncing off. I need to get a breast reduction. <laughs> It felt like it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. <laughs> the budget wouldn't allow it. Toku was scared enough to even bar her door or lock if you're it. To, if you're trying to boss down someone's door, then yes. Does she think the same thing as Biakuya? Does she think the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko so scared? There it is. I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who Yaku, yeah. might be able to put... Isn't there someone that she kind of sort of fancies who might be able to persuade... I just don't know if anyone like that exists. Why are we crotch height to him? It's creeping me out. Hey, Biakuya, do you think you could ask her to come out of room, I mean? That's fine. Sure, whenever. Huh, you gonna talk to her? Well, I guess you could be nice when you want to. Biakuya stood in front of her door, not making a sound. Be careful not to make a sound. <laughs> Fuck. You slip and slide on this banana. Oh, no, don't press that. No, don't press don't that. Don't touch that. What do you want? Press this. Just leave me alone. Don't follow my moves. Bakula? 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 It is Bakula. I thought it said Blackula. <laughs> it's Miyakuya. Yo, nigga, I'm here to suck your blood. <laughs> yeah, Blackula. <laughs> I'm here to suck some booty. All right, your turn. Go on. He's that was always voice acted now. No. I'm sorry. I couldn't keep a promise. Dad, what's for breakfast? Stop fucking doing that. <laughs> Have you ever heard of beating a dead horse? Yes, well, it's I'm doing it right now. now. <laughs> it's turned into fucking spaghetti. 
How the fuck can you beat a horse into spaghetti? I don't know, but you managed it! Alright, well, I guess I'm just talented. Why don't you stop bitching and appreciate my spaghetti craftsmanship? But don't w worry. I found out what's for breakfast. <laughs> spaghetti! <laughs> I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. But we didn't animate it, because fuck you. Kuya couldn't put it off. She must be out of it. Hmm. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on! Objection! <clears throat> hey, Biakuya. What was Togo talking about just now? Something about a promise. Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. You read that beautifully. Huh? You read that beautifully. Oh, thank you. Stop talking. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. You read that at an okay standard. Let's go. Yeah, I know. It's almost like I'm not a voice actor. Well then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Biakuya sped away. I love, love the idea of his little feet shuffling along. <laughs> Be a Kuya! I hurried to catch up. Be a Kuya Chan! I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop with his legs, using his muscles. <laughs> Jesus, that's so pretentiously written. The library. Come on, let's go in. But Biakuya, I can't read. Um, is the evidence that proves it was Genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Oh, okay. Uh, go to the archive. That door there. <clears throat> if I remember, on the other side of this door. Is the archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Let's go. It'll make more sense once you're inside. Ooh. Now Whoa. look at these books. That I just found. When I say go, be ready to blow the dust off the fucking Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> 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 <coughs> oh, man. Oh, it's hot in here. Whoa, there's so many books and files. And so much dust, too. I was right. In other words, you're a fucking sneeze. No. I would say there's enough value in this place to in to endure the dust. Right. Um, lamp! I... Huh? It's a desk lamp! It's the killer! I think that's actually important. Oh, yeah. It's the same one I saw Biakuya using in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? Are you fucking racist towards lamps? Oh, look at that, uh, look, uh, look yep, at that yep, wheeled ladder. Yep. It's lower than all of the other ones and it's the back one. Yep. It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it over here. But then over <laughs> here got dark, so I moved it over there. <laughs> Here, there, everywhere. <laughs> Here, there, everywhere. Keep you a lamp and you won't get a scare. <laughs> in this house, one thing counts. I don't know oh why my God. I thought of that. I can, in the dust, I can see. It's a, it's, it's Jesus. It says, Leos. <laughs> I see a dog, I see a dog tag with its chain. With, um, yeah, I kind of see it as well. It looks kind of like a, kind of like a vagina. <laughs> Dog tags, vaginas. <laughs> They're all the same. You wear them around your neck. It looks like an eyeball with a tag on it. Or an eyeball right, so shooting a laser. No, fuck the game. This is more important. <laughs> There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although, judging by the smudges of the dust, it looks like there was something inside. That is the best bit of detective work he's ever done. I wonder what it is. But it was. There was an extension cord plugged in there. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? 
to Action extend. Was in, the extension cord was in there, which I used to plug in the lamp that is over there when I was in there, well, over here, in <coughs> there, and There everywhere. was a man on the stair today, a man who was never there. But then he was here, so I moved him over there. <laughs> There are so many files, blah, blah, blah. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? Dangerous. Whoa. <laughs> they detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truths for a commoner. You mean, like, members of, of Coke or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I mean the ones with the real power. The secret council controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. Oh my god, I'm in here! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding, right? Am I? <laughs> I'll just let it go for now. Uh, talk to him, because I don't think... Uh, you don't know what it is you're looking for, and there's too many books to look through. Ah, you have a... Sh <laughs> I picked one at random. Ah, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Huh? That's, right. That's the report on a presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. Without making a sound, be careful not to make a sound. I wonder if you do have to inspect everything in here. Even the... Um, no, maybe not. <clears throat> if you pay attention to your surroundings, you're sure to discover that, that value for yourself. Okay. Look over to the left. Oh, there's a far thing behind him. Oh, for fuck's sake. There are a ton of thick files stuffed onto the bookshelf. They'd be thick with two C's. Extra thick. I draw my minds to candor. I was doing an Aku impression. Shut up. If you, it is. If you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those files are dangerous. Dangerous. <sighs> Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. Extra fake. Never heard of the stat killer. <laughs> His full name is Scaramouche. <laughs> he would go, baby dooby dub dub dub, and then rocks would hit people and kill them. It's the kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. You'd be foolish. <laughs> foolish samurai. Foolish Makoto. Wielding a magic lock. <laughs> huh? No, what do you he's mean? fucking nothing because he's foolishly <clears throat> boring. <laughs> a fool, that's it. <laughs> that is literally all he is. That is his personality and character. Does Dingo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. All those files are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Nothing in oh. here is the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. What about my balls? <laughs> <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've reached the peak of comedy. Everyone <laughs> has been topped. <laughs> Fuck me. I think, uh, I personally think the mosquito joke is the best one we've done. Um, yes. Yeah, it is. Let's be honest. It adds so much setup. Oh. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in this library is because of this room right here that I never sat in. It's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? Such ignorance. That's your guy's problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Cognitive dissidence is what it is. Well, it's not that. It's just... 
Uh, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... Is that what that's called? Yeah, cognitive <laughs> dissonance. When you get presented with information that it doesn't fall in line with what you already know, and you reject it as a lie or as, like, um, uh, <laughs> manufactured, it's called cognitive dissonance. Oh. People with religion suffer from it when they're presented with the overwhelming evidence that they're wrong. That's why religion is such an aggressive uh, sort of thing. I did not know that that's what it was called. Cognitive did not know dissidents. A... I, was going, I was about to say I didn't, didn't know it had a name, but of course it has a fucking name. It's the English language. Everything's labelled. Yeah. I mean, there's just so much. Oh. I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? There are seven billion humans. This is a fucking tiny library. You, you, you dipshit. I suppose it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields. Or perhaps... The Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Um, it's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. I'll be right back to process <laughs> Live and let live. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. They're, they've never been impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple. Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? What makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times. There is no doubt. Hold on a second. So you're saying you've read all these documents? And more than once? But all this has to be like top secret cont 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 dead just... Continental. <laughs> Conservative. My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not so dusty. Huh? <laughs> Members of the Tagami family have access to, to a variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How can this be possible? So in other words... I already told you. There's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows, and we must wear tinfoil hats or they'll get into our brains. <laughs> My family is a member of that council. And I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials gathered here are the real thing. <laughs> because he's already read them all at home. <laughs> blah, 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 my cousin scaring me. Basically, the Tagami <coughs> family is part of the Illuminati. Good. I bet they're part of running this. I made that theory before. I, uh, it's becoming more likely. I can't tell if that button is supposed to be there, the one that's on his braces. Um, I think that's actually that's uh, to hold the braces together. That's like the, the, there's another but there's another button on the other side <laughs> with a little bar that connects the two. I think. And what always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. I hope, I hope you liked my explanation of uh, of Biakuyu's fashion sense. It was very important uh, insight into his character. I'm yes, glad. I, I, of course. I hope. I hope. I hope you're happy that I wasted your time, and I'm continually wasting your time. Why do you think he has a green color scheme, though? Could it be envy? Money. Good. Well done. I was actually testing you. <laughs> what are you really? Yes. <laughs> of course it's fucking money. <laughs> or maybe they did it by accident. I don't know. I don't want to Maybe they did it by accident. But like if I was designing a character to be based around money, I would put subtlety in uh, in a color scheme to make him a little bit more green than the others. What color would you say his eyes are? Um his eyes are teal. A very dim teal. Yeah, they were somewhere Turquoise? between blue and grey, so teal. Isn't that turquoise? Is that, that the colour that I'm thinking of? Uh, maybe. Oh well. Does it matter? Not really. We can see them. We can see that they're a colour, we just can't identify it. So fuck it. <laughs> oh no, Biakuyu's been murdered, and he's had his eyes gouged out. What colour were they? It's the only way we could figure out who killed him. 
Uh, 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 teal. Wrong. Yeah, you're all dying. Oh, yeah, wrong. Some, someone, okay. Someone's now got a necklace of eyes, but are they? But they're claiming they're not Biakuya's eyes. They just <laughs> happened to find it. What color are Biakuya's eyes? You sound like a fucking Dora the Explorer bit. <laughs> what color are Biakuya's gouged out eyes? What? Oh, because Sangre! <laughs> sangre! Sangre! You did it! We did it! We did it! Yay. We did it! We did First it! Biakuya's dead! We did it! We did it! I scouched out of his head! <laughs> Reading through these reports has always been a hobby of mine, ever since I was little. It's excellent mental exercise. I'll solve okay. more than a few of these cases just by reviewing the reports. And among okay. all those reports, one of my most recent is the Genocide Jack case. What were you saying? My father read me court cases when I went to bed. <laughs> I had a very I had a very rough upbringing. Oh, I actually, yes. I you played... Go on. I played Ace Attorney when I was a baby. It was dull. <laughs> As he talked, Biakuya grabbed a blah blah. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin with, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The body being um, fucked with and the bloodlust thing on the wall. Yes. The first characteristic is that every crime scene the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written... Bloodlust... Yeah, you just said that. Yeah, okay. However... <laughs> Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. For the second characteristics, where the victims are suspended... Huh. She's suspended in a gym, but I don't think this is a fucking... Oh, no, no, he doesn't, he doesn't mean... He, where, he's, he, where the victims the are wrists. suspended... Dot, dot, dot. No, he doesn't mean where is in the location. He means where the victims are suspended, this thing. Oh. There we go. The only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and the other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words... For fuck's sake! No one, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. I'd love to mount a victim, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, very dead, very dead. Her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. Ah, he's gone! Where'd he go? And, that, and now he's on the ceiling like a crucifix. <laughs> now he's been suspended and he's dead. Oh shit, what happened? I blanked out for a minute there. So how well, could the killer... Was was so how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? He's back. Uh -huh. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. The culprit isn't a copycat killer, it's the real Genocide Jack. Gah! In other words. Gah. The right? That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. Then Genocide Jack really is such a brutal- Really? Fuck off! Fucking stupid cunt! I hate him! <laughs> <laughs> Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer such as- ah, fuck. With such a rep- ah! With such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. You've done so much work this episode. I don't mind. I'm just gonna fuck up a bit and I don't want people getting upset. Do you want me to take Makoto? Would you? Just go on. Thanks. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what you've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Such ignorance. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Oh, please, senpai. Uh, check out, yeah, check the bookcase behind him. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, I know. I know. <laughs> okay, maybe. Okay, where the fuck are we Do we have to get on our knees and beg? I guess so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Mark. Uh, Biakuya, about that Genocide Jack case file, 
That's actually very close to what I was doing. Well done. Could you <coughs> see it? Thank you, Senkai. Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Like I do, into the library. <laughs> the Akuya handed me the file, and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. Fine. And then it went to my trousers. <laughs> and then it got my penis out. And Biakuya was like, now you are learning. <laughs> now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> this, this is the potential that I saw in you, Makoto. I had reached the page where photos of the scene of each crime had all been collected. Ah! Ah, hello! They're all so happy. <laughs> the names of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. Hmm. This is interesting. He used scissors. Mm -mm. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Shoji Gaku, 23. How do scissors get stabbed into the fucking wall? Because they're just that strong. How does he and have that many specialized sister, uh, scissors? And they're, they're razor sharp scissors. Like, really fucking sharp. Custom made, this, okay. this person, that person, over there, over here. There's no end to it. One thing became perfectly yeah, clear. Right. All the victims, all the killers, countless victims, were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. That smiling guy on the left is creeping me out. <laughs> At the scene of every murder, the word bloodlust was left in the victim's own blood. Hmm. It was just as he fucking said. Now take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page? Really? Fuck that! <clears throat> nice two two fucking layers of parallax you got there. This scene again. Profiling results. All of the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. That's the most flimsiest fucking evidence I've ever heard. Well, no, because the killer would be killing um, whenever there wasn't a school day. You can't murder while you're at school. <laughs> you just haven't tried. <laughs> apart, from, evidence... apart from Sayaka, you know, she tried to <laughs> murder at school. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. How do they know that? Oh, because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was any external reason for this. this How do they know? This confused behavior <coughs> suggests that the, sus that the suspect may potentially suffer from disassociative identity disorder, which is the uh, politically correct term for multiple personality disorder. Being bipolar or schizophrenic. Or... Multiple personality disorder, which is its own thing. Yeah, but probably schizophrenic. The key point here is the culprit may well have have a split personality. A split personality? Like the kind of things you see on TV? Christ, Makoto, you fucking cunt. So I'm part of another totally... How can you not believe in split personality disorder? <laughs> I need to open a window because it's boiling in here. Like, well, this... I'm actually dying. But this one is way more believable than anything else up until now. I'm just stalling for time until Kai gets back. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fucking first? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> Let's go. All right. We should get going soon. Huh? Where are we going? <laughs> Anywhere but here. We've finished our business here, haven't we? Ah, wait, be a cool ya. You gonna take him again? Oh, uh, I suppose. Uh, no, nah, fine. <laughs> you you can keep him for the rest of the episode. As usual, be a cool ya turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. 
need a huh? wank. Oh, yep, yeah, sorry. You you go. Just all of a sudden like that? I don't have time to play. Come on, enough of your annoying mis misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move it's the investigation me, forward on your own. No, it's not well, me, it's goodbye. you. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. Young love. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In other words... <laughs> In other words, it was the end. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. I'd love to get tossed around like a plaything. <laughs> At the same time, I uncovered some Biakuya had uncovered some really important clues. <laughs> Thanks to him. Thanks to him. Genocide Jack. He's the one that killed Chihiro. And that murderous fiend. He's one of them. Alright, here's my theory. Yeah? Uh, based on all the evidence that pointed to Mondo before, what I'm going to say is I think Mondo still killed Chihiro, but... Toko discovered the body, her split personality disorder thing kicked in, and she strung up the body and did the whole bloodlust shit, uh, shit. Take credit um, for the murder. Yeah. Okay. And, then, and then she ran off. <laughs> and then she didn't remember it and came back and freaked out. Mm -hmm. And now she's freaking out because she thinks she did the murdering. But who is it? I have to find that out no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go to investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene. The girls' locker room. I should check the boys' locker room too. And the others might have come up with some info I'm, I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. Look at that, he's got some initiative. Good lad. Yeah. Don't need no assistant to tell him to, to do something he don't need to be no assistant either he's a strong independent protagonist twat <laughs> here we go <laughs> uh, bing 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 Ibumi has discovered evidence revealing the unmemory to come him. i feel as if <laughs> another stab of me by me Evidence? What did you find? I cannot baby or let the bear. But I guarantee what what the bub will still but till a bear by me bung. That'd be illegal in a real courtroom, you can't conceal evidence. Are you sure? Makoto about that? is hardly a fucking um detective though. <laughs> and they're not in a courtroom yet. Oh yeah, Miss Ludderbub said she witnessed something worthwhile too. Oh yes, I forgot about this. Really? What did she see? The murder. <laughs> she refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the bubba she likes, but but. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so where is Celeste now? The warehouse by the bub. She was bear, but at the same time, Bubba. <laughs> What's it gonna be? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay, so we can't go check yet, then. No, not yet. We have to inspect both the rooms first. <clears throat> okay. Yep, still there. He's trying to hide. Right. He fucking knows. He's, he knows I'm onto him. He's trying to hide. <laughs> All right, we need to inspect everything again, I think. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Indeed. Do you want me to speak for her, or...? Generally speaking... No, I mean, you've done, like, 90% of the talking all episode. But I have to get going. I have something I'm related to take care of. I, too, also need a massive wank. Mm. Something besides the investigation? My pubes are also white. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be lilac. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. <laughs> what is it? Lilac. <laughs> Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But so then. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Shihiro's body one more time. Really. <laughs> 
Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. Yeah, it's in the box thing. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. No, it's not. We looked, didn't we? It's not there. It might have been moved by now. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I don't know why I do that. Mm. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. I know. I'm not, I'm not a sexual harasser. Why is this a murder? I shouldn't investigate the body that closely. Maybe uh, but there's it... evidence on her nipples. I'll have to suck out the evidence. Maybe the real murder weapon is hiding inside her cooch. Well, I better or her give it asshole. a asshole. Well, my hand isn't gonna fit, but my penis will. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Ha, huh, there's definitely something in here, but uh, I don't think it'll come loose. I should uh, try and get it out. Maybe has anyone got any butter? Oh, you know what? I my penis could handle it. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> His hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up, like, uh, in a kind of crucifix position. Huh? This rope is... has a plug? Hmm... Wait, so then... This isn't rope at all! But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns what me. What the fuck is that sentence? Chihiro's fatal injury was the blow to the heads. I'd love a blow from a head. <laughs> I'd like a blow to my head as well. Oh. You'd like yeah. your head to blow, you mean? I'd, I'd like someone to blow my head. Which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her! That's right, here's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. She's dead. <laughs> of course, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. Because she's dead. <laughs> But seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack file, something's not quite right. Firstly, no scissors. Even though the killer wouldn't have had access to scissors, it stands to reason that they would not kill without them since that's their thing. Meaning that it could not have been the actual Genocide Jack killer who did the actual killing because there is one discrepancy. Have you noticed the second discrepancy? Have you noticed the second issue? There's only one wound. Sure, you can roll with that for a while. What does this all mean? And also, plug. Plug. Hmm. How's that plane doing? That plane's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> that sounds like I'm trying to cover up the next 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that plane doing? It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> it looks like it's coming this way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry about it. But we're at a stadium, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Is the two nature of the rope that was used to suspend Shihiro? And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again! Plus, it might help to look at the genocide fucking hell! <laughs> How about I tell you what we need to do, you little fucking cunt? Talk to everyone. Damn. Shihiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. <laughs> Sorry, that's just, that's just considering how weak she was and how much she wanted to get stronger. That was somewhat insulting. Yeah, what a fucking. <laughs> to target such a helpless being is unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing. I, I cannot forgive this. Oh, it's not Mondo. Otherwise, he's being he's being insulted right now. <laughs> Dude has a real complex about being weak. You heard Jairo talk about that, right? All I need to get stronger. We read this. Oh. Yeah, I do remember. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, then great. Can I shove your hair up my ass? Right, inspect the carpet. That works too. There's a big <laughs> blood on the dumbbell on the floor. There's a big Probably blood... unrelated. <laughs> big blood stain on the dumbbell, on the floor, on In the, the building. building. The building on is the... on the ground, the ground is a part of the crust, the crust is on top of the mantle, the mantle on top of the core, and the core is the center of our planet. This is the house that Jack built. <laughs> the files said that the fatal injury... And the green, was... green grass goes around, go around. <laughs> this dumbbell has to be the murder weapon. Good. Let's put the carpet. There's a blood stain on the carpet. 
can only have co- it can only be caused by Chihiro's murder. Da 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 ba da da da, and the blood stain on the carpet. Hey, okay, really? okay, you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. It's the blood stained poster. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but <laughs> is it? <laughs> The big breasted swimsuit bottle is pretty noticeable too. Personality! A girl's locker room doesn't <clears throat> seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. That's actually a good point. Shall we go, can we go to the boys' locker room? Can we leave? Blood lost. If, we, if it lets us leave, then we've inspected everything that we need to. Yeah, okay. okay. When the fuck is Sakura going to tell her about her coffee? What? What? <laughs> what do you say about coffee? Nothing. Okay. Oh, someone took a shit on the carpet! Oh. <laughs> Taka! There's a, strange, there's a strange stain on the carpet. Better lick it! What is it? How did it get here? <laughs> Questions for later. Right, inspect the poster. <laughs> Someone oh? switched the nameplates! <laughs> huh? This poster? It's a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Huh! Oh, wait, that reminds me. The poster in the other locker room is... I'm starting to sound like Hina now. That's All right. right. Eh, you need to get a bit higher and more prophetic. That's right. There's definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a pop of a pop of a pop of a pop of a me. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big bursted swimsuit model. Hmm. I can't get over saying that. Could the posters have been switched? That doesn't make much sense. But if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little bit more about the locker rooms. The ultimate locker room! <laughs> uh, mm. Take a guess as to who know, knows the locker rooms like the back of their hand. Is it... Is it... Mr. Sakura? <laughs> uh, have we ever been here before? I don't think so. Oh, this is the swimming pool. It only has one depth. Maybe there's some kind of clue in the lockers. Guess, Guess not. not. Oh, there's a coin here, though. How oh, sweet. I'll buy fuck all with that. Maybe the locker will be will serve as a clue at another time. Or not. This is, this is just a waste of time. There is nothing in this room. Hina would be very angry if she heard you say that. <laughs> I'm sure she would. Right, go speak to Sakura. Oy, 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 oy. The alarm went off about five minutes ago, by the way. Let's we'll, just get this we'll investigation. Just talk to her. Well, let's get this investigation over with, because then we'll do the trial. We're very close to finishing the investigation. All right, so we'll just talk to Celeste after this, and we're done. Oh fuck yeah, we've got to do that. No, we've got to go to the library too to look at the power cord. Yeah. You spend a lot of time exercising in the girls' locker room, right, Sakura? I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I use it together. Ugh. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters? I've told you the definition of insanity. <laughs> do you think the po do you think the posters in the boys and girls locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. Is that you... a big-breasted lady? Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, if um... Be, if you've been in here every fucking day, you would have noticed. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. Well, I get one of the boys to come in. <laughs> in the warehouse. It's not the highest quality. But I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after the exercise. A glass of coffee? Uh, probably a, like a direct translation. They didn't localize properly. Yeah. 
Anyway, the other day, I spilled some of it on the carpet in the girls' locker room. Ahina said she was drinking tea in a glass a, a few, um, several episodes ago. That Who stain, drinks tea in a That stain drinks... is a coffee stain. Yup. What did you think it was actually a shit stain? <laughs> no, I know, but uh, like I, I was thinking what it was. Exactly how the stain has disappeared, I can only assume someone came along cleaning up and still the usual clean of the stain to begin with. Got it. So. Uh, but, so Makoto is smart enough to figure out that the two posters have been switched, but he's not smart enough to figure out the cough, the, that the stain in the other in the boys' locker room is that stain. <clears throat> right, let's go to the library. What if she was killed in the boys' locker room and moved here? How the fuck would she get into the boys' locker room? Leon's thing does work. Yeah, but it was in the mailbox. It would have been on her person. Unless someone put it back. Unless she was hanging out with a guy and was like, I want to do some training. And he said, oh, well, I know this little trick for you to get into the boys' locker room. I'll, you can train with me in there. Who the fuck? There is, there is no trick. You either... If you don't abide yeah, by... Yeah, the... yeah, yeah. Someone... Okay, let's say, for example, the guilty person is a guy and knew about the thing in the box. Okay. And he just gave her Leon's one okay. and brought her into the boys' locker room, <clears throat> killed her, brought her into... The, swapped the carpet, which had blood on it, and the poster, which got blood on it, switched them so that it would look like she was murdered in the girls' locker room, took Leon's thing off of her, figured out a trick to deactivate it what? somehow. Why the fuck would switching the posters make it look like that she was murdered? No, because in... it got a blood stain on it. Okay. Oh, right, okay. So oh, if, true, yeah. If you keep it in the boys' locker... Well, hang on, there's a fucking blood stain on this. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and on the carpet, you're right. Okay, yeah. Huh. Okay. Right, let's go uh, talk to to Celeste. Uh, no, let's go to the library. For fuck's sake. So your current theory is that is that Chihiro was murdered in the boys' locker room? Yes. Okay. By a boy, brought into the other room. But then how does Toko come into play? <laughs> Unless it did pan out that way, but that doesn't really seem likely. Mm, Questions for later. Club court, I think? Please tell me, is it, that's the desk. <clears throat> Inspect the lamp. And inspect the, inspect the lamp itself. Oh, for fuck's sake. My god. Okay, definitely got it this time. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Huh? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, oh, sorry, you're doing him. Yeah, take it again if you want. Oh, I see, it's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here, but last time I saw it, it was definitely on. And it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right, Biakuya was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Okay, so the extension cord was the one that was here. Right, so go into the map. You don't have Oops. to leave the room every time and just teleport to um uh Celeste Ludenbrock uh tele teleport to that square there just to the right press right teleport to there okay we're in okay it's probably because we're inside a room <sighs> oh don't fucking tell me we're gonna have to walk there ourselves there's still what bullshit Genocide Jack file. Oh, yeah, he wanted to fucking look at that again, didn't he? Surprised <sighs> Biakuya still isn't still here. I wonder where he is. What yeah, he's doing. He's gone. Did someone take oh, it yeah. out of the archive? But the only one you knew to do something like that. Biakuya! Alright, Biakuya has taken it, maybe. Okay, now can we teleport? Like, now can we leave? Yes, thank God. Right, teleport. Whoops. <laughs> Every time. All right, so down to no, no, I'm gonna go. Okay. What's this room? 
The warehouse. Oh yeah, we, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Oh god, that looks really out of place. Yeah. Oh god, this place freaks me out. What's up, bitch? Oh, my best voice. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see, but have you found anything related to the case? Most unfortunate. I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Why the fuck would you conceal me? Then you did find something. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, and only you. Idiot. Actually. Last night, I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? Indeed. This was right before night time. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Uh, is this voice acted? acted? Yeah, her hair is very blue now. Ah, just... oh, fucking hair! Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? <laughs> you go exercise? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Fuck me, this is like some grade A quality detective oh, skills, right? right. <laughs> Thanks. Well, Thank I you for knowing. Going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Or maybe she said thank you for a reason. She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yeah, she was gone. Indeed. Sound like Glados. I assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but... It would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. You get what you deserve, I suppose. That's cruel. Oh, and he doesn't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> of course he fucking doesn't. Yeah, fuck her. <laughs> uh, she went to the girls' locker room. Uh, get it. Strange thing is, no trace of the track. Which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. So we're going to the incinerator. Are we? If they got rid of it somehow, how would you get rid of it? Thought... Yeah, but... I don't remember having to inspect the incinerator in my playthrough. Well, oh, I'm sorry, Finn. Well, this is my playthrough, and I just came up with an idea on where it would be. I guess I just don't get yeah, to do that. I'm just confused as to why... Why the are there fucking windows there. going to the hallway next to us? Those are the bedrooms. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you're like... Oh, but I didn't have to do that. Well, great, now you're pointing me away from potential red herrings that make the game more interesting. Uh, not related to the case. Okay, fine. Now where the fuck do we go? Um, open the map. Let's go find Biakuya. But let's have a look for exclamation marks. Done. Uh. We've done, done all that. Uh, dining hall. Dining hall. Why am I going to go to the dining hall? To talk to Poop. Why? I don't know, but it's fucking telling me to, so we're going to talk to Poop. Well, we really have to speak to him. Maybe a re update on Toko, because we apparently we give a shit. Yeah. Oh, well. I think we'll do this and we'll stop then. This episode's really long. Yeah, well, the next one's going to be long. It's going to be the class trial. Yep. Oh, Hina. How's Toko doing? Mm. Same as before, she won't come out, and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so I left her there. <laughs> Good on ya. You left her? Awesome! Let's get wasted! My head was all swimmy, and I was just getting pretty hungry. Ha, <laughs> swimmy. Yeah! Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Just, sorry, I just got a mental image of her, of her pour, pouring soup into her cleavage. Why? <laughs> I don't know soup why. Soup is hot. What it's you want to do? You want to get some milk? My tits are so big, I can use it as a bowl. <laughs> Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her fucking oozing with personality compared to this dipshit. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Soup. Soup. <laughs> A donut, of course. Can oh I... yeah, we we haven't uh, we haven't spoken to Hina, so you don't know about her donut obsession. Oh. 
You remember? Yeah. In, do you remember in the abridged in the abridged episode you watched? She just kept going on and on about donuts. No. Okay. Of course I don't. Of course. <laughs> There's two things I'm um, I'm sh- uh, I'm sure God created: outer space and donuts. Oh fuck off! All right, I don't like her again. I love her. Really. <laughs> I bet you Hero would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was one of her one big regret. Oh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did spend? T- did she spend time with? Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with any of the girls much. It was like like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yup, it's true. Oh, sorry. Maybe uh, she's secretly a guy. And it wasn't just us, either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. She's secretly a, fucking, a guy. That's a fucking jump of a theory. Maybe... Her thing's vanished. Maybe we should try and get her thing and use it on the girls' locker room, and if it doesn't work, that confirms it. Yeah, and then we'll die because we get shot. Yeah. Oh my god, is she secretly a guy? Wait, did, what, where, where's this coming from? She got into the boys' locker room, right? In my theory, that's where she died. She avoids the girls. She refused to exercise with the two of them because if she was a guy, she wouldn't be able to get in and she'd be shot by the Gatling gun. But she still wanted to exercise, which is why I'm theorizing she probably would have gone with a boy, which means she would have been able to get into the boys' locker room. Uh, Maybe you, you pretty yeah I, I I think I just got I got on board with your theory when you mentioned she would have got shot if she tried to go in with the girls. Yeah, so like, why would she? Of course, she'd refuse. And that's why they never see her in the locker room as well. So maybe she went into the boys' locker room, chanced upon someone else who was there, and they killed her, leaving blood on the poster and the floor, meaning they had to switch it into the other room by using one of those things that was in the mailbox. Um... Uh, I'm trying to. Th- I'm trying to see if I can poke any holes in your theory. Playing devil's advocate. Play devil's advocate. Um. I wouldn't say that because that makes it seem like I'm right. Um. No, I'm. I'm. I've been playing devil's advocate to all your theories. I know, but now openly admitting you're playing devil's advocate means you agree with me, which means I'm probably right, based on you saying. Oh that. no, no! I just said devil's advocate because I'm adopting a stance of, tr- of deliberately trying to poke holes in the theory. Anyway, let's carry on. No, no, no! Devil's advocate is going against something you agree with, just for the no, sake no, of being. I don't. Th- I don't think this is. Look up the definition. Blow the dust off the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> Devil's Advocate uh, is when, like, okay, let's say we both really like a character, like, uh, let's say we both really love Pooh. I know what it's, I know what it does, I know, it's, um, adopting a stance you don't necessarily, adopting a stance you don't necessarily agree with, that's, yes. Okay. Right, what let, I was saying and not what you were saying, yes. Let's carry on. <laughs> was she just shy? I don't know, she talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? I'm fucking calling it. She's a dude. Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? No. You think so? Am I floating? Am I floating? My My head feels really light. I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh fuck, that's it. That's it, investigation's over. Shit, I really want to go through all this whole thing now, but I know it's going to take hours. Uh, well, good thing I have hours. Do you? Do you? I do. Awesome. (laughs) Probably, no, Kai doesn't. Of course, okay, you're just going to tell us anyway. I do. Red door. Did he say it's that? Because a... I wasn't listening. Yes, he did. I was just skipping it every time he finished a sentence without paying attention, because I got the gist. Oh, it's taken us to... 
Right, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, you cut yeah. light. <laughs> I forgot yeah. what red looks like. So we just end it right here and start at the pr- uh, and, and start here as well because we'd be going on for fucking ages. Yes, we're ending it right now. What are your final thoughts, Finn? Um, uh, one of my one of my final thoughts. Um, I'm asking final, you. Final 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 fight fight fight. Children, f- when you're in doubt, that's fine. But, your children, I, you're not very smart. Fucking accept it. You're not, you're not clever. You fucking, you've lived I, what, like twelve years? Let me tell you something, dick face. There's I, more knowledge in this universe than any one man could ever understand. So don't assume a twelve-year-old is any more incapable than anyone older than them. You are not. It's a fact of life. Dumb people my age are smarter than you. Stop getting on your fucking high horse and going on YouTube and being little cunts. Get off the fucking internet while you're at it. Fuck twelve-year-olds. Really? Is that your final thought? Oh, I was hoping you'd end it right there. No. I'm not Why giving not? you the satisfaction. Why not? Because, my, Finn... My fucking channel! You know what? You know what? I want a divorce. <laughs>